this is Lauren from LSB Actions and in this video tutorial I'm going to be doing a quick dark and moody horse edit using this stunning image by Amanda Voller. This tutorial is for the Fur Babies Photoshop Action Suite. If you're unsure of how to use these actions you can visit the uh, video library on the LSP Actions website at www.lsp-actions.com and you can see all of the video tutorials including the Get Started Guide. So let's get started with this one. First of all, I'm going to do a little bit of manual editing um, to add more in on the bottom here and crop some of the top out here. So I'm going to go over to the crop tool, make sure content aware is selected. Let's just clear that. And I'm just going to drag out a little bit more on the bottom here. And let's get rid of some of the top there to make this a more pleasing crop. If you've got content aware selected and you're on the original background layer here, uh, Photoshop will work to try and build um, some of this area in, so let's see how it does. It doesn't always get it 100% right, but that's really not a bad shot. Next up, um, I'm going to jump straight into removing some of the distractions here using the Hide um, option. This is LSP Select and Fix. First of all, you need to play Set Up the Layer here, and you'll see it's created a brand new layer to work on. Grab the Patch tool, which is up here on your Spot Healing menu. I'm just going to get rid of some of these areas by drawing a selection around them and playing Select and Fix, and that's just going to heal them there. You can hold down Shift to make multiple selections, for example like this, any areas I'm just going to clean up or get rid of super quickly, and play Select and Fix. I'm also going to use this to remove this uh, string harness here. So on the patch tool, I'm going to do this bit by bit, is going to draw a little selection around the area I want to remove and hit select and fix and the same here. You can use this exactly as it is um, or you can do this kind of in conjunction with some cloning and patching. It really does depend on the image um, and how complex the area is that you're trying to remove. The fur baby select and fix also has the shortcut function of F4 assigned to it. So instead of clicking the action, if the action isn't even there, because I've assigned F4 for you, you can simply hit this and Select and Fix will run. Now let's just clean up some of these areas using the F4 shortcut again, just to get some of this original texture back in. This is playing the Select and Fix action. But we're just cleaning up. It's a little bit blurry here um, where that harness was, so just using that to clean up there. Next up, I'm going to brighten her eyes up a little bit. I'm going to use the brushes here and use the Brighten Areas brush. Brush is set to normal, 100% opacity and 25% flow. And I'm just going to use this just to brighten this area up a little bit. Not too much because it's got some beautiful shadows here in the image that we want to keep. So just brighten these ears up a touch. See, I'm just painting this on the areas I want to delicately lighten. There. Bright eyes brush. Oh my goodness, did you hear that scream? That was one of my little twins next door. They are playing in the living room, uh, which is right next door to my office. It's great that I can always be on hand um, to run in and check on them. Don't worry, they're not in there by themselves. My husband is in there with them, uh, but they are having rather a lot of playtime right now. So I'm going to come up here to Fassi and just turn this one up a little bit. This is a levels layer, you can always double click this and you, you know, as with everything in Fur Babies, you can tweak and change if you need to. So let's just brighten that eye up a little bit there. Or you can just repeat the action play it out a few times if you prefer, it's entirely up to you. So we've just brought some, um, some of the detail there back into the eye. Now there are a few ways you could go with this edit, you could um, lift and brighten the stable here, but for this one I'm going to absolutely black this out, and to do that I'm going to use the ultra dark black magic action here, slide that opacity right up, you see a black brush has been selected so I can simply use the left and right square bracket keys to make the brush a little bigger, and use this to paint this off of your subject, so white means show and black means hide, I'm using this to paint off the subject here. So the background is a lot darker, and um, our horse is still lit. You see that before and after, we've really darkened the background down there. And you can always play this one again if you want to, to make it even darker. 
and again paint off the subject. So you see that has pretty much got rid of the entire stable there. And we're left with this beautiful um, dark horse portrait. I'm going to take a snapshot of that version there. I'm just going to remove these so we can work on a slightly different edit to that one. We can always go back and see with the snapshot um, where we were with that one. Snapshots are a great way if you're not sure about which direction you'd like to go in uh, when editing. You can always take a snapshot, try a few different things and see what you like right at the end. So let's go down on the diffuse finishes here. How about we play more mix? Again, if anything I'm doing doesn't make sense, don't worry, because you can watch video tutorials number one, two and three, where it really walks through in detail um, exactly how to use these actions. This is more of a recipe guide and a play. So let's see what these do. You can simply turn these on and off at the sunset glow there. And you can change the opacity too to make these stronger or lighter. Peachy pie. Not for this image, I don't think. So I'm just going to drag this down to trash. Epiphany. Lovely and warm, but again, not for this image. Radiant. Oh, that's quite nice. Beam. Lovely. You can simply mix and match these until you're happy. You can also um, paint these away from any areas you didn't wish it to show. For example, that um, spotlight up there we don't really need for this image. And we can turn on ultra dark too um, to get the effect. So you can literally turn these all on or off um, to see exactly the kind of edit you want to get. With the image, it's just really, really cool. You can just play it away. How about some of the drama mix? Because this is rather a dramatic image. I love the way um, she's just poking at us. It's just absolutely beautiful. And the light is gorgeous. So there we have Club. This is kind of a darker dramatic edit for the image. Or you could go completely crazy with something like this and do Wizardry Midnight. Um, there is a tutorial on Wizardry Midnight. It's a beautiful blue kind of cyan finish. And you can simply paint this off the subject. It's a very, very cold and cool crisp edit there for that one. But I think we're going to stick with this mix here. So let's just make our subject pop a tiny bit more. Get rid of club because we don't need that one. Uh, back at the top here on image balance, let's play punchy contrast, and that's just going to give a beautiful sense of depth to our subject there, even more so. I'm just going to paint this off the bottom here. So let's go ahead and see before and after. There is our before image and after. So that's a quick dark horse edit using the LSP Fur Babies Actions. This image is by Amanda Voller. And you can grab these actions over on www.lsp-actions.com. And you can also view the entire video tutorial series over on the website um, with the complete step-by-step -step user guides. That was more of a recipe guide video. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.